What's up everybody? Well, I got another gameplay video for you guys today. And today, we're gonna do The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt on the Asus G15 Advantage on Ultra Wide. Now this is the new 4.0 update. I know you guys are probably thinking, well, he just did The Witcher 3. I did the before the 4.0 update just so we can compare graphic and all that stuff. Now, my goal was to even throw ray tracing in there, but every time I've tried to turn ray tracing on, it just crashes upon loading the game. I can get into the settings screen, but the second you hit continue, it'll get all the way done to where it has a little loading circle. The loading circle will spin a couple times and then bloop, back to desktop with a little crash screen. So I can't test ray tracing, at least not right now. Now after a couple updates, of course, just like with Gotham Knights, I'll come on back and we'll try again. But for now, we're just gonna have to deal with not doing that. So we're gonna do most of this in DirectX 11 mode. And then I'll still show you DirectX 11, uh, 12 mode, like it maxed out or whatever I decide is good graphic settings for this. This ultra wide, I think is where it started kind of having a little issues. And then 4K, I really had to sit there and mess around with it. And that's the original version. So who knows what this is gonna be like, but hey, one way to find out. Let's jump on in and find out together. And it's now time to do ultra wide, so let's go through the settings just to show you guys there's no vsync on and we're on ultra wide. We're gonna start off on low like we usually do. So let's go through these low settings real quick and then we'll hop on into the game. There we go, now into the game we go. Now here we go with low settings here. But we're on ultra wide. So of course, let's just run around for a little here. Get some game plan, obviously with low, we're getting plenty of FPS. Obviously the game doesn't look that great though. How are you cranking the resolution with lower settings? It just makes lower settings look that much worse. That's okay, we'll just run around a little while longer and then we'll move on up to medium. Shit in a blow hole. There's a little teeny stutter there. Oh, what the hell do we got here? Got a wraith or some shit, huh? I don't even know how to draw my sword, so instead, and we're already close to the end of this little section, so why don't we move on instead of fighting that thing? On to medium now. But first, we gotta go through the settings, of course, so let's do just that, and then into the game we'll go. we go. It's game time. Now we're on to medium. So let's just run around. Oh, where's this stream go anyway? Oh, I guess it goes into a mountain back there. It goes nowhere. Comes out of the water. It must be a natural spring. I don't think they thought that hard about it. I think it's just water. <laughs> No, I will say GTA 5's got like weird little tiny little streams that'll go on forever and then they'll like come out of a natural spring on the side of a mountain or something. And it's like, geez, they put so much effort into that for someone who's, for most people, are never going to see something like that, you know? Still, this game's awesome looking, not trying to say it's not. Plums? Oh no, they said the plums are wreaking havoc on something. I couldn't catch the last part. <laughs> Alright though, now we're gonna move on to high settings. Now, let's get into that game. This is high settings now. So 
so why don't we go ahead and just run around for a little bit. Still getting more than enough FPS. This is great. At least at DirectX 11, you can go on high settings even on ultra wide. How nice is that? Yeah, sure, no ray tracing or nothing, but the game still looks great. There goes a hair. Well, now why don't we go ahead and move on to Ultra now? Let's now do Ultra. But of course, before we get into Ultra, we have to look at Ultra settings. There we go. Now let's go get into the game. There we go with Ultra settings now. Can we stay at above 60? Hopefully. Pretty much no animals this way, ha. What the fuck? That guy likes to swear a lot when I go past his blacksmith shop. I just ran over a bundle of sticks. Anyway, now let's go move on to Ultra Plus. Well, now let's do the new setting, Ultra Plus, on Ultra Wide here. But first, before we get into the game, we have to go look at the settings, of course. Now, all the stuff at the top here is just basically the same. The only thing that's really that I could change was these guys. Can't really do hair works on this guy. It doesn't really work right right now. But let's go into the game now. Now we'll do a little Ultra Plus. Now I noticed it just dropped under 60 a little bit, but remember we are recording, so IBS does take a little bit. Damn, almost got ran over by a fucking deer. Oh, there's another hair. Here's a fun little animal tip. Did you know that hares are not the same as rabbits? As a kid, I always thought they were the same damn thing, but apparently hares have longer legs and longer ears. And are a little bigger than normal rabbits. Of course, there's exceptions to it. I've seen some big fucking rabbits on YouTube that were like, that were way bigger than even Misty. And Misty's a pretty big kitty. And I don't mean big as in fat. Don't give me that look. She's just a big kitty. Because she's got that Norwegian forest cat in her. But she's a mix, so she's not a purebred Norwegian forest cat. And she's got a uh, tortoise shell coloring. And I'm sure she's got a couple other kitties in there too. But that's fun. That's why I love mixes. You get a whole bundle of fun. Anyway though, now why don't we go ahead and move on. Well alright guys. Why don't we get a little bit of some camera gameplay in now? There we go. Freaking fucking bull is trying to stay on fire. Like, no, fuck you, you don't get to waste all my weed. But 
This is still Ultra Plus, that's why I didn't show settings or nothing. Now, of course, I'm just running around in the same kind of area. You could get farther into the game, maxed out like this on Ultra Wide, and then find out, okay, it's dropping under 60 here and there, but... I don't think there's going to be too many spots that do, and if they do, it'll be down to like 57, 58, or something like that. Where you probably wouldn't notice without a counter up in the top, you know? But that's just a, a thought. And then after we run around here for a little bit, we'll also uh, turn on DirectX 12 and I'll show you guys why I did not use that to go through all these. It seems to get a little less FPS and it seems to be way more stuttery and I can't use ray tracing. At least not yet. Every time I've tried, it just crashes the game to the desktop. So we'll go play a little DX12 on Ultra Plus and just keep all the settings the same besides the DirectX 12 part. And then you guys can kind of, and we'll run around the same area, and you guys can make the decision for yourself. But I just thought it seemed a little stutterier, and if you're not using ray tracing, I thought, well, why use DX12 then? That's the only reason you'd want to use DX12, is if you want to use the ray tracing features. There's one dead log. They definitely made the game look quite a bit better, though. On all the settings, I would say. And if anything, they made it run a little smoother on DX11. I feel like DX11 was a little studier than this. Or I guess instead of making up words, I should say it had more stutter than this, but I like making fun words. But, of course, there's always going to be this people like, hey, that's not a real world, or fuck you, asshole. And it's like, well, what the fuck? I was just trying to have fun. <laughs> it's not like I was sitting there trying to be like, no, this is the real world. Some people just need to not take life so seriously. <laughs> that was the best thing I ever did, was stop taking life so seriously. That's kind of funny. As soon as I did that, then a lot of cool and nice stuff started happening, too. Though, in, my de in that defense, might have been, you know, when you're in a bad mood and everything sucks, you could just notice a lot more bad things than good things, because you're looking out for bad, because you're in a bad mood. So, it could just be something as simple as that. Hey, look, a bunch of wild horses. And a peasant! Tilling to his fields. And a wheat field. I don't know what the fuck kind of field this is, but it definitely looks like something was planted here. Unless that's just random shrubbery, I guess. Damn, that's a big old thing of sticks. You could burn that up, and that would just make a big old fireball. We used to have something similar like that at our old house. Just this big, like... 10, 15 foot thing where we'd throw all the sticks for like a couple years and then we would set it on fire and it would just be like a gigantic fireball. Very cool. But yeah, so far so good. I haven't sat here and just kept an eye solely on the FPS counter, but I don't think we've dropped under 60 at all. We've gotten close down like 62, but I don't think we've dropped under 60, and it seems to be doing pretty good. Every once in a blue moon we might get like a bit of stutter, but I'd say it's doing better than it used to before they updated it, really. Anyway, though. Now it's time for me to go show you guys how DX12 acts, so let's go quit the game and get DX12 mode loaded up. Well, alright guys, just wanted to show you the settings real quick before we start DX12 mode here. 
Oh yeah, I think if I click. Yep, there we go. I was like, why are my settings not up in the corner? What the fuck? That better not be broken again. <laughs> but uh, basically the same settings we were on on DX11 mode. Just on DX12 now. Can't do any ray tracing or it just crashes, but... I'll come back once they do a couple updates and hopefully it'll stop doing that. Even though this thing sucks at ray tracing, I'd still like to show you FSR and ray tracing and all that stuff, but... I'll leave that for another video if it's going to act like a, a pill and just not work properly, you know? So, let's go get into the game and I'll show you a little tiny bit of how DX12 plays now. Alright! Let's get a little DX12 gameplay in now. And you guys will probably see what I meant by, like, the way more stutter and whatnot. Unless that was just some bullshit my laptop was doing. I'm sure most of you have noticed my temps are a lot lower now. I'm trying out something else somebody recommended before I try my uh, last option, which is probably the one that'll work the best, if I'm honest. It just takes a long time to do, so... I wanted to not be like not have to do that and then not be making videos for you guys if that makes sense because it's gonna kind of thing where you can't just go in and in an hour and a half do this thing. It's the kind of thing that's gonna take like probably weeks to test for stability and make sure everything's all good. You see more stutter, more frame drops under 60. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't like DX12 mode here, but anyway, so. I'll probably do this guy named Ski. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but it's S-K-I-I. -I. But he's very, very smart. And he's got a little tutorial on how to get your temps under control and get some more performance to boot. It's just some time-consuming shit. So, be ready for that. I'm definitely going to make a video on it. But I'm giving him all credit for it, because I obviously... I'm not the greatest when it comes to software and all that shit. I mean, I can take the laptop apart, I can add whatever I want, that's no problem. But when it comes to, like, testing for stability or software or any of that shit, that's where I fall flat on my face. Never been the greatest at that, especially on laptops. And I always seem to get the raw end of the stick whenever I try to buy, like, all the supreme overclocking shit for my desktops. Like... I'll go see somebody on YouTube have something, be like, oh, that's pretty cool, I'd like to have that. He's getting good temps, getting good clocks, all right, cool. Then I'll go buy the exact same thing, and then, you know, silicon lottery, I just lose it. And then my shit doesn't get nearly as high clocks, it's always hotter, and just sucks. But, hey, them's the brakes. And... I just happened to lose the Silicon Rally a lot. But it seems like I'm doing pretty good on my 4090. I'm not ready to call it totally stable or not, but I'm really close to 3 gigahertz on that thing on the core. I'm really hopeful that I'll be able to get at least 3 gigahertz on that 4090 stable. That would be absolutely awesome, especially seeing as though I only have one with three freaking pins. But I really don't think the power matters that much if it's voltage limited. I don't think the ones have more voltage than mine just because they have more plugs. I think they can just use more wattage than mine. So if you're not wattage limited, then, you know, it's no big deal. So I might have just won the silicon router on that one. But yeah, this game's lots more sturdier on DX12. I do not like, and if you can't use ray tracing, what, what the fuck are we doing here, you know? This is just absolutely terrible. Hopefully after a couple of updates, though, it'll get better, but for now, on this laptop anyway, I would recommend most people just stick with DirectX 11 until some updates come out and ray tracing actually works, then I'll test it, but like every other game, ray tracing never seems to do good on AMD. Even their new 7000 series, while much better, don't seem to be anywhere near NVIDIA. At least the newest NVIDIA, I should say. They seem to be kind of on par-ish with like a 3090, 3090 Ti and ray tracing. Anyway though, I think that's more than enough to show you that DX12 mode's kind of laggy, worse frames, and just not that great. So, why don't we now go wrap this video on up so I can move on to 4K. Well, all right guys, that is a wrap for the AZG 15 Advantage and the Witcher 3 update 4.0. Wish I was able to test out ray tracing and whatnot, but I did test at the end and it still crashes the desktop. Although I haven't seen it have any updates, it's still 4.0, so I don't know what I was expecting. If it had any updates, it'd be 4.01, you know? Anyway though, it handled it pretty good until we got to DX12 mode, then we dropped under 60 and had quite a bit of stutter. So I personally wouldn't recommend using DX12 on this thing, especially because 
because ray tracing always sucks on these things anyway. So what's the point of going and having stutter being at best 35 FPS? That's about what it was at just on normal ray tracing mode, not even the ultra ray tracing, just with like global illumination. That's it. And we were getting 30 FPS. And that was one time while I was in game running around. And then ever since then, it's crashed over and over again, no matter what. I even tried reinstalling the game thinking, oh, maybe it didn't like the fact that I changed it in game, which is usually why I don't do that anymore. But I just wanted to see real quick before I moved on on camera and whatnot. And yeah, that's what happened. Just kept crashing over and over and over again. So it is what it is. I hope you guys still enjoyed the video though, because we still got to compare how it ran to the old version because we ran through all the same settings. And then we have Ultra Plus now to play around with. So Ultra Plus definitely looked a smidgen better and, cri and crisper. Didn't kill the frames too much, at least when we were on DX11 mode, we didn't drop under 60 at all. Of course, you might farther into the game in places, but I don't think it's going to be by much. Might be down to like a 56 at the lowest. And if you don't have a frame rate counter, are you really going to notice that? No, I notice stutter and whatnot more than anything, even without a frame rate counter counter. But as long as it's staying close to 60, smooth to me, preferably over 100. But hey, I'm still all right with 60 and I'm still all right with 30 and 40 on the Steam Deck because hey, it's portable. Something's got to give sometime, you know. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys for this video. Now, I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next video, peace out, guys.